How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm actually gonna be uh, opening up this box that Ambition sent me. The last machine they sent me was really good quality. Shout out to Ambition for sending me this, this second machine. And um, as you can see, I am not really good at unboxing videos. <laughs> They sent me this machine probably like three weeks ago and uh, because I was, I was, oh, my nose. <sighs> because I was uh, sick, I wasn't able to use it and finally I sent them a message yesterday and I was like, hey guys, I'm ready to try your machine and record that video because I've been excited to, to try out this new machine. So, feels like Christmas. Here we go. Their presentation is always Super good, like super on point. It makes me feel like it's fancy, you know? Like that. Oh, like this, this kind of box here makes you want to take this machine everywhere. That's, I think that's my favorite part about the way their presentation. So they sent me the Ninja machine, wireless tattoo machine, and um, Oh, look at that. The way, ah, uh, presentation is everything. Oh, look at that. The way it's really good. I like how thick it is. That, that means that uh, I'm probably not gonna wrap my machine as much. And it comes with extra little tools just in case you wanna adjust your machine. Oh, see, this is something that I really like about ambition is that they send you an extra part in case your battery is not charged you can just you know pop it in and you connect it to a cable and i feel like that's something that i really like that you have the option to either use a battery or a cable and they send you a second battery that is that is freaking awesome this smaller battery is going to last you five to six hours and this bigger one is going to last nine to 10 hours, which is a long time for a battery to last, which I feel like that is crazy. And I'm glad that there's a battery that lasts nine to 10 hours. Uh, it says here charging time. It takes about two hours to fully charge. I'm going to go ahead and put this to charge and uh, I can't wait to put this to use because I mean, it feels like a very solid machine and I'm, I'm going to put the link to the in the description on where to buy this machine. And I'm also gonna add their Instagram here. All right, let's start. Damn, but you don't even have no hair. <laughs> that ain't no problem, I don't even have to shave you. <laughs> here is my client Noah, came all the way from Philly. And uh, we're gonna be doing like a Green Reaper. You nervous? No. Okay. Yeah, I'm a little excited nervous for this right here. Oh yeah, this little area has <laughs> a ditch. You can't really see it. Let's pull it down. Eesh! Right there. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. All right. So the idea that um, that he had was to get the skull with the cloak, which is a new word I learned today. <laughs> cloak. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna have the sternum in the bottom here of on the wrist. Uh, so. I was trying to customize last night, but I couldn't figure it out because this area kind of curves a little bit. So there was no way I could customize the design straight down. So what I'm gonna do is uh, we're going freehand today. Mm, yes, sir. We're going freehand. The only thing I stencil is the skull that I liked. We had like really cool details, contrast and everything. So I'm gonna place it and then the rest I'm gonna freehand it. Yeah, I'm gonna have you kind of like twist your body real quick into like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. <laughs> Just go at it. Don't even think about it. Boom. Damn, Damn that looks so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that looks dope. That is perfect. The eye socket landed right in the middle. Mm. And then the cloak, damn, I, li I like that word. I'm not even gonna <laughs> lie, the, word. the cloak. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go. Oh. Oh. 
So we finally completed. Uh, completed. <laughs> so we finally completed. Uh, uh, freehanding the the rest of the skull. I ended up adding the cloak here on the top, and then pretty much I'm gonna go based off my own knowledge as far as how to execute the sternum here and then the cloak here i really like how it's very wavy it's almost like neo traditional and then you got a realistic skull and then as i'm tattooing i'm gonna be making decisions uh i like the placement i like everything about it so let's get to it oh!
Super crazy day. Um, I ended up just doing the whole entire school because I was like, I just gotta get through it, you know? So throughout the whole entire video, I was trying to figure out what to go in depth with and I couldn't figure it out. I mean, I, I, it's pretty much just texture, solid black, but uh, I, I realized that I've never done uh, for, or I guess I never explaining, uh, I never really explained with detail how I apply white. So I think this is perfect. I mean, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna tattoo the whole thing and uh, explain the white. So a lot of people apply white in different ways, uh, different voltages, different needles. But uh, what I found out that works for me is, um, is low voltage and sticking out my needle. I try eight, uh, eight voltage, nine voltage, 10 voltage, and as soon as I touch the skin, it just starts bleeding like crazy and I could never figure it out until I started using 5.0 and right now I'm gonna be using it with a, a seven round liner and um, so if I, if I uh, start on this area of the cheek right here um, I'm gonna go in super lightly and I can feel the needle just penetrating and it kind of vibrates where it lets me know that I'm, that I'm packing in the, the white super nice. Now, so you can see, you see that super bright. With, because it is white, you're gonna be able to see plasma, a little bit of blood, but um, it is not severe. Like if you apply white and it automatically starts bleeding like crazy, I would say that you have the wrong hand speed with the wrong needle and the wrong voltage. I'm gonna be doing it. I'm gonna be applying white, like if I was applying texture. There we go. Yeah. And as soon as I touch the skin, it just goes right in because of my hand speed and all that. Right in the middle here, I'm just gonna go around, just kind of see where it needs it. Not too much but in the spaces that have like blink or negative space, that's where I'm gonna be applying the white to enhance it. Enhance it, enhance it, enhance it. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I'm gonna do a bright line here to separate the, the cloak with the cheek the cheekbone here, very bright, so you know where it ends and where the cloak starts. There you go. And just like, you know, have fun with the white. Just kind of add it where you feel like it needs it. I really like when you add it like in between the, here the, the middle of the skull to make it look like it's, it's uh, moist. <laughs> the word moist, bro. <laughs> Just kind of like step back and really see what you're doing and then 
you're gonna figure out where it's gonna help you to make the tattoo look even better. I'm not adding too much pressure because what I don't want is the skin to scar in any way because if it scars, then the ink is gonna turn a little yellowish. Uh, but it also depends on people who spend a lot of time on the sun. If people spend a lot of time on the sun, you get sunburn. And of course, the white ink is gonna change with your skin. Um, so sometimes it's inevitable, like for people who work in construction, definitely the white is gonna change. But uh, for some people, they're blessed to be able to hold ink like crazy, like white ink like crazy. So just because some of you didn't have a great experience with white doesn't mean that other people are gonna be the same. Um, sometimes it's just your skin. There's no way that you can like control that, you know? And that's how I would do white. Um, I'm gonna keep repeating the same process throughout the whole thing and finish up this tattoo and show you guys the results. The final uh, tattoo or the, how would you say it? The, the final product. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming back and watching this brand new video. I really appreciate it. Uh, had a little, uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> had a really fun day. It was a really fun tattoo. And as far as the machine that I used today, it was great, really good machine. And uh, I only charged it for about uh, an hour. I think I only charged it for almost an hour, and it lasted me the whole entire session. So that was that was amazing. And uh, a big shout out to Ambition for sending me great quality machines. I really appreciate that. I'm not gonna talk for a very long time about this machine because all I'm gonna say is that they're great machines, they're affordable, and you can tattoo very, very comfortably with them. So I'm gonna let you guys try it out. If you guys are interested, I'm gonna leave the link in the description and uh, their, their Instagram as well, so you guys can get in contact with them. Para todos los que hablan español, yo les traigo un video en español. Ya se viene un video en español y este solamente que estoy atrasado dos semanas de, de videos, entonces denme dos semanitas y yo con gusto les voy a dejar un video en español. I got big announcements coming up, so next week do not miss that video. I cannot wait to share this with you guys, so see you guys next week. And if you're a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you're entertained. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.